Welcome to the homework for lesson four. This is module five of first grade. Get your name on here first, please. And cut out the pattern block shapes from the bottom of the page. And color them to match the key, which is different from the pattern block colors in class. Trace or draw to show what you did. So you can see here that usually the pattern blocks we usually you might play with or that you've seen before. Uh, you'll see hexagons here. Hexagons are usually yellow. Triangles are usually green. These trapezoids are usually red. And these rhombuses are usually blue. But don't color them those colors. We're going to use the colors that it says to use. It says the hexagon should be red. So let's see, just to make sure we read this and we're thinking about the names of the shapes instead of what colors they are when we usually see them. We want to think the hexagon should be red. So I'm going to color in the hexagon red. And then I can't cut this out with scissors because it's not even on a piece of paper for me. It's a it's on my computer. The triangle should be the triangles should be blue. So here, these guys are going to be blue. The rhombus should be yellow. That's this guy here. And the trapezoid should be green. And that's this, that's this guy here. He should be green. And then uh, it says, now we're going to you cut those out. And you can see that there's a, there's a dotted line right here. So you can just cut right along that line and then that will make it easier to move the paper around to cut out those shapes and once you do you move them around like like puzzle pieces and it says to trace or draw to show what you did for the picture now here it says use three triangles to make one trapezoid well there's other way there's there's many ways to do this but the triangles might look like this. Let me see. I'm going to have to draw them, outline them first before I color them. So I'm going to draw them in black first and then color them. Remember, the triangles are blue. So if I made a triangle like this, now my picture is going to be a little. I'm going to just make, do the best I can to make these triangles. The triangles all have, the sides are all equal. So I'm going to try to make triangles that have equal sides. And get this to come out there that's about as good as I can do you can draw yours bigger than that but please don't draw it smaller because we want to be able to see what it is in fact what you can do is you can use the ones down here and just trace them hold them down with one finger and, and kind of trace them around with your other with your other hand I can't do that because I can't actually cut these pieces out, so I just kind of have to do it by hand here. But it's better if you just move the pieces around yourself and then trace around them so you, it's easier to draw. Uh, then use three triangles to make a trapezoid and then add a trapezoid to make a hexagon. So let's see what that's going to look like. I can take, so I'm going to make the same trapezoid I just made. Let me try and draw it about the same as the pieces so it should be about that big it's about how big they are there's another side here and there and then here and then there all right and then those are blue right and then the uh the trapezoid is green And that's pretty bad looking trapezoid, so I'm going to try again here. Let's see, that would be about like that, and about like that. And then this side should be about like that long. It's not much better, but it's the best I could do. And here's the trapezoid that was green. And then 
And uh, by the way, I highly recommend coloring the pieces before you cut them out. It's a lot easier to color them first. Uh, maybe I should have mentioned that first. Sorry. Uh, and now we have uh, how many squares do you see in this large square? Well, don't just start counting the grid because there's more than you might think. Now, this is a bit of a puzzle, so I'm just going to give you some hints and let you just figure out as many as you can. Uh, there are these, of course, there are these are squares, right? And it's how many you see, so don't count. It says in the large square, so don't count the large square. But you can see there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's 16 of those little guys. But there's also these two. Those are squares. And that's a square. And that's a square, too. So take a look around there. You're going to find, a, with those hints, you should find a lot more squares. And I want to ruin the puzzle for you by telling you everything. But you should find more than 20 squares if you find them all. More than 20. Good luck. Okay, so you probably want to know there are, actually there are 30 different squares. See if you can find them all.